All right, Saints Nation, welcome back. We are now in the loser semifinals here of this CCA Summer Series East Qualifier, the last chance to get into the CCA Summer Series League play. We have the University of South Florida up against our Saints this time by joining in about 30 seconds in here. Just a back and forth battle, no real shots on target. This is gonna be a close one. Yeah, I mean, we saw something similar, uh, the, you know, the first minute or two, just a feeling out process, see what each team is gonna give each other uh, early on in the game. And so far, nothing yet but you know decent opportunity for Christian had a decent look but you know that USF that USF defense holding strong here early on absolutely of course starting line up here for the Saints is going to be the same but this time here for USF we have I feel clutch sap and Yagami let's hope he left the net with the notebook at home because our Saints are going to want to have to deal with that so we have sap charging on through looking to uh, make an offensive opportunity and it's going to be denied by Spoods for just a moment's time but they're kind of stuck at their own zone yeah yeah nothing to it here Ooh. good shot on goal good luck at perhaps a second chance Ooh. but Spoods there for the save post boots and out it goes as nitrix there again trying to get the clear but usf the pressure <laughs> all on it's boots again on the back line the last line of defense able to keep that ball out of the st Clair net usf all over st Clair right now a second shot another save by christian oh. but finally it's phil to put that one in and it, it seemed like the inevitable was going to happen there as uh you know, you can only make three miraculous saves in a row, I guess. I was going to say, there's only so long that you can keep that up. That was at least three to four saves or so that Spoots had to take care of them by themselves. You're lucky enough to get two sometimes, let alone as often as they made those saves. A fantastic job for Spoots nonetheless, but even better there for USF to be able to seal the deal and get and uh, fill there, getting USF on the board as they're now picking up right where they left off, right back into the offensive zone onto the Saints backed into the Saints crease off the backboard looking for USF member just goes right off the roof no shot though Spoos again gonna clear this one over to Christian Christian tries to redirect could not quite get the angle they were looking for Nitrix now sharp angle shot and they're gonna be able to get this one all tied up at one great shot from Nitrix great read and great angling of his vehicle I see right yeah just beautiful touch got just enough and I believe that was sap the last one there can't get anything on the ball. And so we're all even now, just about to cross the halfway mark of game number one here in this top four matchup, trying to vie for that spot to clinch their spot in the Summit Series. So 1-1, one, one. here we go. We're going to have ourselves another opportunity here. Nitrix nearly finding the redirect. But one thing that does kind of make me a little bit nervous, I wish we had some sort of shot counter of sorts like you would see at a hockey game, kind of like in the corner below the, the names, because I feel like USF would probably have seven or eight, even though yeah. Saints have two. Granted, they did manage to get the goal, but you can see where the pressure is lying right now. The Saints do manage to get it cleared every once in a while get a shot here and there but it's just after an absolute relentless assault of shots from usf as saints now finally get a chance to clear kind of make something of it we talked about the shot total but the saints defense all day long has been so so good absolutely not, not allowing over i believe three goals is the max that they've allowed in a game so far today and holding strong yet again when it matters oh. most Oof. and there's a chance for christian to move it up the field but not gonna really make anything of it yet as USF continue to pressure. Another shot on net, but Nitrix nice. with the save. Everybody chipping in, in goal. As Spoods now with an opportunity to do it himself. Nice. Able to bump it over. The no defender. way. Second chance shot oh. just cleared from Sap. St. Clair now trying to answer on offense. Okay, that was almost a humongous chance. The fact that they got that far to begin with was absolutely remarkable. But now the Saints still looking for that go-ahead goal. Same thing here with Yagami and the rest of USF trying to charge on through. Got Sap right there. He's actually going to let it go for their partner. Not going to quite get there. A little bit of an awkward bouncer in the center field area. Saints get a hold of it. Spoods now centering pass opportunity. Drops into the crease. Going to be immediately taken care of. USF not wasting any time clearing that thing. No, no time wasted. They want this second goal, but here's Christian. Oh. oh, good opportunity, ran out of boost. Do you think if he stayed a little bit more airborne there, that had a chance, but Spoods wrapping back. Now the reverse bump, gonna take that out of the zone, but Yagami holds it in for USF, centers the ball, prime opportunity off the right post. Christian clears it away. 
Oh my goodness, stuck in the same zone. Still tied up, 30 seconds left to go. Spooge breaks out, has Christian there, but Christian does end up getting beat out. So it's Nitrix versus two, but that was such a slow lob shot through center that the rest of the Saints were able to catch up for at least a moment's time. Spooge is there, Christian is there in the background as well, just trying to figure out who takes it, who stays back. Spooge leads the charge, firing on forward. Christian with the shot, does get blocked immediately. Nitrix does pick it up, however, still in the corner. Three seconds left, one more opportunity for maybe the Saints to try to pull this through or it, we are going to our first overtime of the entire day. First overtime, and expect nothing less from these two teams with how USF has made their way through this bracket. Won a couple winners bracket rounds, now in lowers, forcing the first overtime of the day here on the Saints Gaming CA stream. Christian and Co. trying to get this all-important game one win under their belt. Right around the corner, Christian off the backboard, does set it up, and Nitrix is going to clutch this one up with less than 20 seconds into this overtime. A fantastic setup there for Christian to drop this off the backboard, and there's Nitrix to set it on through. Wow. Nitrix, player of the game here in the loser semifinals. Two goals for him. Great finisher from him as well, and a, a quick overtime, uh, but an overtime nonetheless, and USF plays, mm -hmm. plays strong. They start off hot. But it's St. Clair with two straight down to the game. Yep, and then the shots kind of evened up at the end of this one, and I'm sure the players are ready to ready up and just go right into game number two pretty much immediately after that one. Those were some fast check marks, to say the least. Yeah. They want to go. They want to go now. But, yeah, this shots, it was 8-7, to seven, Saints favored. So close. Yeah, uh, again, USF, it, they were all over the St. Saint Clair Saints for the first, I mean, two and a half, three minutes of that game. It really felt like... Um, mm -hmm. they, troubling. Yeah, very troubling. They, they could have blown that game completely wide open. Uh, but the defense, again, holding strong. You saw fantastic saves from Nitrix. Of course, Spoods on the back end as well. Christian mm -hmm. being that, that cleanup crew guy in the corners also. The cleanup crew and the setup person as well, the playmaker of sorts. Can we see that again? And actually, Christian beelining this immediately off the faceoff, putting the pressure onto Yagami and the rest of USF, but could not quite get a shot on target this time by, but it's going to bring it right back in for himself off the backboard. We do have Spoods there who does get a redirect and a barely, barely making contact there as Yagami me to bring it on over Nitrix in the center. Everybody on the Saints all getting involved in the offense within the first 15 seconds. Very, very scary if you're on the side of USF. Yeah, not the start that you really want there, but they managed to scrape away with uh, no harm, no foul. As now St. Clair trying to get a little pressure towards their zone. Nice demo by Christian, but not really going to do anything. It's just going to relieve the pressure from USF as you start to see those Ooh. South Florida players move up the map a little bit. But a little bit of a regroup now for St. Clair. They can get the ball back into the USF zone. Players are just kind of dancing with the ball there for a moment, trying to slow things down. But now it's going to be Spoods intercepting Agami here, but does end up going over to Sap, who's going to try and take a shot in the crease. Does manage to keep it there for a moment's time, but it is going to end up being cleared. Agami now with control around center. Christian tries to intercept. Not going to happen. Nitrix getting the demo does open things up, however. This is a three on two on the offensive side of things as Yagami goes down as well. But Sap, in the meantime, just carried this thing all the way Ooh. into the Saints zone in a very, very dangerous fashion, almost getting the goal there against the Saints, but it does get pushed aside. Yeah, you saw Spoons doing anything he could to get back as fast as he could. Absolutely. But uh, unable to do so, you see Nitrix just running oh. out, of, uh, out of boost as he gets blown to oblivion as well. So now USF have a chance to regroup themselves to get this back. It's just a demolition derby out there here, Dan. Okay, we got ourselves a little bit of a change of pace of sorts here as we see the drop shot oh. opportunity. That was actually beautiful attempt there from Igabi to actually take the player out before the ball got there. But fantastic defense here from the Saints to not fall for it and have the backup necessary. And yet another one. That's probably Nitrix like fourth elimination yeah. here of this game, to say the least, but a huge shot there as Phil catches the ball, just kind of floating in the crease. Yeah, I mean, Phil Clutch has been pretty quiet for uh, the, the first two games here, but able to get the only two goals for South Florida so far in this series. And uh, again, USF able to draw first blood. They need to build on it here. You got to think the second goal is going to be a very important one. Absolutely. As we now see Agami immediately going on the offense there with Phil once again. But Spoots, or not, it's going to be Christian rather, who clears this thing out immediately. And Sap just brings it right back in here. Spoots meets him up above the crossbar. Try and clear this thing up. Agami does have control here for USF. Looks for the pinch. Not going to quite get as much of it. But he does manage to get his own rebound. But it is going to go wide. 
Now the pressure continues. Phil Clutch trying to get his second of the game, third of the series. Not going to happen though, as Christian able to just hold strong for as long as he could. Now he's got some help from his teammates, but Nitrous actually set this one up for USF to take advantage. There's a shot on goal just over top of the net. And Nitrous clears again. Sab with a second shot. Clutch looking for that third one too. USF all over the St. Clair goal. Can't convert quite yet though. Spoods finally able to settle things down for the time being, but USF dictating everything here in game two. I mean, USF has so many shots on target, but at the same time, Nitrox basically took a turn of defending each of the USF players respectively within a 30 second period. And now Spoot's gonna send this thing all the way into the USF zone to try and get some sort of four check going. Does have control for just a moment's time, but is gonna be taken away there by Phil. Granted, he does not have much boost, so he saves for Sap. Tries to get it over Christian, not gonna happen this time by back to Nitrox. Goes across halfway. Nitrix, no boost in the tanks. Going to not get the boost in the corner either. Does get robbed by Yagami, which means this offensive play is dead for the moment. For the moment. St. Clair only have a minute 30. Try to take a two game series. But there's a good shot at goal. And who else but Nitrix showing up in the biggest way possible so far in this top four matchup and gets his second of the series, actually make that third of the series as uh, he ties this one up and well, down the stretch again. We're primed for overtime as both teams showing up so far. I mean, Nitrix has probably been on point so far with just having the most scrappy but like counterattack style in this Rocket League series or this entire tournament rather. just one overextension. It may not necessarily always be the prettiest of goals, but he's in the right position, getting just enough of a touch to be able to bring that through. So now once again, tied up with one to one with a minute left on this clock here. Christian in the crease waiting. Here comes Nitrix, drops it on down, trying to do it himself, but Spoots is there. You can see USF is getting scrappy in their own crease to try and get these saves off, and they're finally able to clear it. Yeah, Christian had to back off there, had no boost, so he was in a prime scoring position, but absolutely called that rotate, called Spoots to come in, oh. but now he's gonna get an opportunity oh. for himself, but Phil able to knock that ball away for the time being. Good shot on goal here, it's up to Spoots, and he's there to make the save again. The defense holding so, so strong. USF pressuring once more, 20 seconds left. Okay, Christian, no boost, but still makes the play happen to at least get it to the center field line, or it's going to be Nitrix. Up to the, their teammate up in the sky. He's not going to quite get this towards the net, but it is going to go to Spoods. 10 seconds left on the clock here, and it's going to drop right in front of the USF net, but a big save from Igabi. The rebound is crawling, but it's not going to get there. Minute, or a second left on this clock here. If this touches the ground, we're done. How about overtime number two for game number two? Oh man, great chances for both teams in game two so far. Face off one there by St. Clair. Oh man, all over the net are both of these teams, but both sides again playing such strong defense has kept this series at such a low scoring series overall. We haven't seen any team open things up so far. And Nitrix looking for a chance himself, but gonna run out of boost. St. Clair with an opportunity to get some pressure on. Oh. So close, right across the crease it'll go, but not quite dangerous enough yet. Christian's gonna have to retreat for some boost. Nitrix is here in the center, but it's a bit of an awkward spot. He's gonna have to try and make a save. Nobody home, Yagami is going to get the go-ahead goal. We have ourselves a tie series. Well, USF take advantage. It looked like Sinclair had some pressure towards their end for the first part of the overtime, but USF, again, take finally cashing in on one of their several opportunities in that game. Absolutely. In, in all honesty, that both teams should have had a lot more in this case. Taking a look at the shots once again here, we have 10 on the side of the Saints and 10 on the side of uh, USF. So again, just opportunity after opportunity. It's always there. Unfortunate there for the Saints and for Nitrix, who did make the first initial save, but maybe didn't necessarily get as much on the ball as he was hoping for, and it did end up opening up for the rebound. So now we're going into game number three, all tied up. We're in for a good series if this keeps up. All tied up again. We saw 3-0 last time. USF coming off of a hot game five victory just before this. So both teams well endowed on this Saturday afternoon. And now, we got ourselves the best of three here down the stretch as uh, we're all knotted up at one apiece. One thing to note as well, for, um, in the bracket or in the projected uh, seedings, of course, based off of the seeds for this tournament, we are 
I believe, projected to take this one and then go up to Syracuse. But the way this is going so back and forth, who knows at this rate, it's not a sealed uh, deal in the slightest here. As USF obviously playing fantastic alongside the Saints here as we see Spoods looking for the drop pass over to one of their teammates. It is going to be a small fly through the center, but it is not going to get the angle they were looking for. Nitrix was up there, but couldn't quite knock it down. Yeah, great touches so far from St. Clair. It looks like they, they feel comfortable, which is important at this stake of the tournament. They know what's on the line as they battle for their spot of the Summer Series League play. And uh, they, they look comfortable. They don't look panicked. And, uh, you know, right now USF kind of in the exact same boat. Just very, very cool common, common collective from both sides as they, uh, you know, try to take a series lead here in a very important game three. I mean, a shot after shot opportunity here for USF in the Saints zone. The Saints, they may not be panicking, but they're damn well not comfortable to say the least. Kind of hovering around that center field area now, trying their dang this. It's been like a minute before they've gotten this thing cleared out. They're finally going to be able to do so. Nitrix with the pop shot or pop pass, whatever you want to call that, lobs it on over, takes a shot for himself. Is there a rebound? There is. He's just going to get his own. Nitrix gets the Saints on the board. Nitrix does it himself. Great little touch from him again. Floats it over the defenders. You see Phil just missing that ball and Sap just landing as that ball go over his head. So fortunate bounces for Nitrix. Fortunate bounces for St. Clair. And there you find themselves up with a one nothing right. lead. Damn, good on Nitrix. Like with how quickly he showed up from a completely different position. It's almost as if he teleported. But just able to find the opening and just fully committing to it and not thinking twice, able to get his own rebound and get this one up ahead here for the Saints. So now Spoots gonna maybe look to try and find number two here for the Saints, which is gonna be immediately set back. USF obviously not gonna be happy about that one, firing on all cylinders, pass and fly to a wow. huge save from Spoots, barely getting that above the net. All day long, Spoots has been there to make these miraculous saves and looking to do so again. Finally gets it down to the USF zone, so a bit of a recollect. Good initial defense from Christian to play that 50 ball, but it does manage to get through, but Spoots, once again on the goal line, knocks it away. Think there, hang on to the 1-0 lead for now. Kind of stuck around the center line here where Phil is trying to control this thing. Great, and not much boost there. Tries to pass it off to Yagami, but it is going to be immediately picked up here by Nitrix. Puts it into the corner, trying to take it himself, waiting for the opportunity. Christian is the furthest player back, able to control it for a moment's time. Bring it right back in. Nitrix is back there, but he needs to knock it down. He gets the opportunity, but not quite enough juice on it to get towards the net itself. Start to see USF. Getting more on the offensive. Two minutes left to go here. Pressure's gonna start to get on them. Try to get one on the board. Uh, again, only okay. Only only three goals in the series for either of these teams. Think they're just getting their fourth, but so so low scoring. You start to see USF gonna start sacrificing on defense a little bit more in about wow. 30 seconds. Well, not even gonna get the chance there as Spoods with a fantastic finish off the back of well Christian. Who else? The setup man all day long, been so quiet in the goal scoring oh. category, but man, what a play. And the shot from the Spoots threads the needle, one car above, one car below, just squeaks right between them both. Fantastic shot, fantastic pass, and everything just looking great here for the Saints in game number two, about a minute 30 or so left on the clock here. Just basically strict defense for the Saints will get them what they need, go up in this series. Christian, of course, not gonna be content with just playing defense, however, Put Puts this on forward, drop shot into the crease, but the Saints are not going to commit fair enough. They have two players back, make sure there's no chance at a counterattack. Yeah, you said it. They're playing very, very safe right now, which is all you need to do in this situation. You set one up. Christian not even moving a muscle down in the back corner. Nitrix as well. He knows his ball's coming towards him. So now he's going to start to make his way up towards the right side as his two teammates recollect towards the front of their goal. And great demo there. Christian going to be able to set this one up potentially for Spoods, but no. Doesn't quite get the bounce that they want. However, just killing time. And, and that's what you got to do at this point in the game. That's exactly what the Saints continue to do. Yeah, as long as you don't put yourself in an awkward position where you tee up the opponent, as we see another awesome opportunity here for Christian to take a shot out of the skies. Does get deflected there by Sap, so fantastic. But it is going to be a huge save there from Nitrix because that was nearly the counterattack that the Saints were scared of. Another attack on for USF, but it is going to hit the crossbar. Not able to clutch this up. 30 seconds left to go. Yagami down the I feel clutch. Not going to be able to get it into the net. Christian and the rest of the Saints are there to shut it down. 15 seconds now, USF. 
not likely to tie this one up as time is dwindling away. The impossible will have to happen. They get a good chance. Oh They're off the post, boy. And they put one in. So five seconds remaining. It's not impossible. USF, they're able to get one back and, well, get a little bit nervous if you're uh, on the side of St. Clair. I mean, a fantastic passing play. They're using the backboard as that fourth teammate of sorts. Always a reliable pass target, but now Saints, they need to kill this extremely quickly, and they're not going to waste any time. Not even going to touch the ball, really. Just knock that down immediately. So, all right, just enough to give us the briefest of heart attacks, but damn, all right, so Saints... 2-1 ahead, one more time, but I have a feeling that we're not quite done just yet. <laughs> no, can't, uh, can't expect this to go any less than a game five. I mean, USF, again, was all over it. I mean, St. Clair played a very clean game three. They, they looked hmm. like the more dominant team really for the first time this series. Um, and so South Florida going to be looking for an answer as uh, it looks like we're just relobbying up once more. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, a, a good effort from St. Clair. They're able to take the uh, the series lead, and now uh, they have a couple games to play with. Yeah, so it's nice to know that you have that little emergency game in the, in the back if you absolutely need it, but you kind of want to finish this up right now because, of course, um, as soon as this game's done, winner, this goes to play Syracuse. Yeah. So no waiting. You're already like knocking on the door of the top three, and if you win that, you're in. So the Saints are right on the doorstep of actually making league play, but they just have a little bit more to go here. As here we are for game number four, and Saints immediately on offense. Yep, defense has been so good, but their offense has been able to answer the call whenever they've needed to. As Christian again, been a little bit quiet since the early part of this Saturday, but been playing such a key support role for the squad as Nitrix and Spoots have done the dirty work get get these gritty goals for the St. Clair squad so USF find themselves down two games to one looking to answer back here in game number four it doesn't have to be pretty just get the job done here as we now are seeing Nitrix clear this thing right from his own corner off to Phil Phil's just going to get absolutely demoed there by Spoods but it's going to send us all the way into the USF zone where the Saints are hard charging on through shot on target is going to be immediately stopped there Phil getting back in time to make that save but Spoods now has two people to choose from he's going to get a Immediately knocked down there from the USF defender, making it so he could not choose necessarily who he wanted. Christian off the backboard. Can he get the touch? He wow. does! Fantastic play from Christian. Fantastic play indeed. And well, he was quiet again. But things like that is what makes Christian a special player and oh. such a special part of this team. And man, unbelievable individual effort again from Christian. He's been setting up goals left and right, but being able to get one in a moment like this has got to be such a huge morale boost for him as now SEC just four minutes away from moving on to the top three and a chance to clinch your spot in the Summit Series. Cannot get over how sharp angle of a shot that was, but we still have plenty of Rocket League to go. Nitrix is going to try and do something similar. A little bit of a lobber into the USF area, but it's not going to quite get on target this time by. Spoods is just going to straight up brute force through all three. It's going to be sent back, but Christian is there on defense to stop this from going on through. Right back into the same zone, however. Spoods drops it down to Nitrix. Nitrix has a little bit of room to work with. Where's the defense, but he is actually wow! Christian manages to get a bounce of a lifetime to get that insurance goal. Bounce of a lifetime, yeah, you said it. Uh, looks like a double to triple bounce. One, two, three, four <laughs> bounces to get into the net. Finally, uh, Christian able to get the last touch, and unfortunately for USF, that's uh, that's going to spell some trouble. And now, with their backs against the wall. And three minutes of counting going down, but good individual okay. effort, Sap. Okay, big answer immediately. The narrative instantly changes in USF. They could, they could build off of that momentum. Great effort there from Sap. That was very, very odd there. I believe it was Christian in the back who made the first initial move to make the save. And then USF completely read that. And by the time they juked out the first one, Nitrix realizes the issue, guns it, but could not quite get there anyway. So good on USF not to let the bleeding really happen for too long here, bringing this back within one and keep themselves in this game. And you're bandaged up if you're USF, and now it's time to get back to war. You're still down one goal, three minutes left to go. A chance for a chance at league play. As they're looking oh. for that setup, Phil was there so, so close, but just couldn't get an eye on the ball. 2.45 left to go. Oh, they're kicking themselves for that one. That was a perfect setup, but could not even get a shot at all towards the net off of that. That is definitely going to be 
a little demotivating, but we do see Sap still pushing on forward here alongside Phil, and there is Yagami off the backboard, looking for Sap. It goes over Sap, and now this is a little bit of a struggle, two on one in the Saints' favor, but there is reinforcements on the way. Of course, those cars can get back extremely quickly as long as you got boost in the tank. Nitrix bounce off the off the side towards the crease. Knockdown opportunity here for USF, but they're not quite going to get the shot they're looking for all towards the net, but it's all just barely wide. Yeah, USF all over it now. Latin line of defense, it was going to be a 2 and one but Yagami able to send it back down, and he's got a free oh look at the net. Great defensive play, great recognition, and you see just three players from St. Clair come flying through midfield, yep. and no one left to defend Yagami and USF, who have been all over it in the past 45 seconds finally able to put one in. To be fair, this entire series, I feel like Agami's probably been the the quiet one, the one that hasn't been too flashy, has just been kind of like defensively oriented. So if there's a player that you feel like you could one-on-one -on -one challenge, it was probably him. However, they absolutely clutched that opportunity, tying this game up, making the Saints eat some crow, and now we're all tied up once again. Two to two, just under two minutes left to go here. Nitrix successfully defends there, and now it's kind of stuck in the Saints zone once again. Overtime potentially on the horizon. 90 seconds remain. Good shot opportunity there for Yagami, but yeah, no one home for USF to help out. Good demo coming in. So a potential fast break for St. Clair gonna get instantly shut down as Boots looking to come off of spawn and get this ball immediately out of the SEC zone. Now a minute 15 left to go. Good chance there and Yagami again puts it in. That's his second of the game and USF with three straight on the brink of tying this series. Gosh, what seems like a nothing bounce was again just capitalized as Sap was just able to get that in the right position for Yagami just to drill it home. And now USF looking like they're in position here to maybe send our Saints to a game five after what was the way this team started in game four would be an absolute victory in itself. It's a huge bounce back for USF right now. Can they hang on or will St. Clair Get one back and force our third overtime of the series. Good chance now. Spoon's trying to center this ball. Just overshot it just a little bit. Ran out of boost. Gonna have to regroup. Nitrix on the offensive. Able to play that 50 ball enough for Spoon to get there in time. Christian now gonna be flying in with the shot on goal. Big bounce. Just a bit over the top, but Spoon's over to the no top. Way! There he is. It's Nitrix. What a touch. What a goal and we're tied another sharp angle shot it looks like here nitrix just gonna drill this thing down christian with the bump on top of that to get sap out of there and we're all tied up at three just like that incredible job here from the saints but the job isn't done yet three three with 40 seconds left to go in the clutch again nitrix comes up huge this team continues to do it when it again. matters but christian just oh. a little bit wide great touch from phil to knock that one off the right Post a chance for now. USF to get one in, but Spoons again there for the save. Pressure continues. Clutch with a shot on goal. No that way. One in. Top left corner. USF take the lead. Clutch is in the name, and it might have been the perfect time for it. Able to lob that one up and just tuck it right under the crossbar. Fantastic shot. Well placed. And now the Saints again in the hot seat with 20 seconds left to go. Hot seat yet again. 20 seconds remain. St. Clair, they win the draw. Nitrix trying to push that one up the net, but that one might actually be on goal. Christian knocks it down for now. 13 seconds remain. Good time killing here from Sap, just trying to stay <laughs> as stagnant as possible as Yagami puts this one towards the St. Clair zone, sacrificing the defense, oh, oh, and Clutch boy. will get the sealer, and we're going to a game five. There's no question now. The Saints have fallen apart here at game number four. We'll be going to game five momentarily. Fantastic play here from USF to clutch things up the way they have. I feel clutch, able to find those two last minute goals, just making things so brutal. The dagger in the heart of sorts here for Saints fans as we're getting ready for game five. Yeah, gotta, gotta tip the hat to Yagami for the performance that he had in that True. game. I kicked everything off for that USF comeback. And uh, well, St. Clair, they answer back late. But in the clutch, it's Mr. Phil Clutch with his second of the game and fourth of the series. Uh, he's been huge for them so far. And shots were all tied up. So this game is pretty much as close as it gets. It's not like one team just kind of failing on offense or failing on defense or like vice versa or whatever. Just literally as close as it can possibly get here. Hopping into game five in just a moment's time here. These players do not want to wait at all. And to be fair, I don't blame them. This has been exciting. And... We'll have to see. Maybe an overtime for game number five? Perhaps. 
boy, that would get the hearts pounding. This series has been fantastic so far. And uh, USF able to score five, which is seems to be unheard of against a team like St. Clair today. But they Very get true. the job done, and here we go. Game five underway. Yeah, and it's immediately going right into the Saints zone where we do see Sap and Phil in the corner there for the Saints. That's going to now be Yagami. Picks it up, trying to get the shot on target. And it's going to be Christian who stops it, though. Sends it out. No boost in the tank, but at least gets it into the USF zone for the moment. Just going to be now USF once again pushing it on through. Spoods is back there to answer, but just kind of stuck up in the skies where Christian is waiting. Yeah. Christian forces the ball down the right side of the field, but ran out of boost yet again. So that's going to allow USF to get a counter attack going. There's a chance in front of them, but Spoods able to clear that ball. Phil Clutch looking for his a millionth goal of this series, it feels like. USF continuing the pressure once more. A little bit of opportunity here for the Saints, so they kind of break out a little bit. Spoons, I believe, was just on a head-hunting, or not, Christian on a head-hunting run there. Try and knock out a goalie, but when they don't get it, they do end up pulling back here. This is now Yagami set up in the corner. Christian going to try and control, sees that Phil is there ready and waiting for the first initial touch. The slow play was valuable. They bring it all the way on over into the USF zone, but immediately cleared once again right back to Spoods, and now we're right back in the same zone. Good opportunity again. Yagami just overshooting that one. Didn't have a real chance to put that one in the net. It will clear it out for now as Clutch again all over the place, putting himself in the best position possible to put one in for his USF team. Now Christian on the counterattack. Nope, going to get instantly knocked away from Yagami. So back down it goes to the St. Clair zone. And well, back to that tennis court we go as Nitrix going to bump this into corner, set it out front, but no one home for St. Clair. You see the two players on the defensive side just picking up their boots and regroup. Gosh, I don't want to call it now, but I feel like some of the trust from the Saints might be kind of faltering a little bit. Some of these passes that they seem so happy and willing to take before have been a little bit more hesitant. You'll see one of the players up in the offensive zone in the skies dribbling on through where the pass would normally happen, but then there's two people in the back. As we see USF, slow fall here into the Saints' crease once again. Phil Clutch going to try and push us on through once again. There is help available. Shot on target actually hits the crossbar. That's going to be a gift there for the Saints. Yeah, so, so close to going down 0-1 in Game 5 tournament. Again, on the line for both these teams. Loser semifinals. Just under two and a half minutes ago. Here's a good opportunity for Nitrix. Out of boost, though, and Yagami there on the, on the defensive side. Going to get things kick-started now for USF as Clutch trying to put that one back in. But no, it's going to be back in the rear corner. This one actually bounces up front. Good chance opportunity. Oh. Christian stopped by Sap. Another chance Triple. there. Three players there from USF. No one now in front of the net. Nitrix knows it, trying to get it up front. The back end challenge coming in. Off the crossbar, Christian oh. again. Just wide of the goal, all over is St. Clair. God, the offense isn't done though, and that was unfortunate there for Christian. That's such a hard shot to try and finish up. Could not quite get it done there. That triple commit from USF was so scary. All of them no boost, all of them committing everything to try to make one save. The Saints nearly were able to capitalize, but not this time. USF has stopped the bleeding though. They got through that rough patch, and now they seem to have regrouped a little. Just under 90 seconds. Nitrix working this ball, no boost to his name. Yagami, no boost to his name. So it's basically a 2v2 towards this ball. Sap looking for a chance on goal. Cleared away from Spoods again. Spoods working that left side. This one's going to have an opportunity to get centered in front, but no. It's going to be Phil Clutch with a good 50. Going to knock that back Nitrix. into the corner, but Nitrix out front. Ball gets oh. touched just a little bit, but over the head of Christian as now Spoods going to work that back line. Good opportunity for him now. Cleared again. Back and forth we go under a minute to go. Oh, God, here comes Clutch, though. Phil Clutch trying to get the rebound on top of it. Yagami is going to get the go-ahead here with a minute left to go after the first initial setup there from Phil. Another inch to the left, an inch to the right. That one's staying out, but oh. just squeezes in between Spoods and the post. And USF with a late, late goal, going to take the 1-0 lead. And now St. Clair, it's all or nothing here. Yeah, 50 seconds left to go here, and it immediately goes right back to the Saints zone. It's absolutely terrifying here for the Saints as they need something quickly to get themselves into at least an overtime opportunity to stop this, or to, rather to keep this tournament run going. But when the ball is just going through the crease like that over and over and over again, it's heart stopping every single time. You know the nerves are ragged here. Heck, I'm nervous, and I'm just on the desk, let alone if you're a player. 20 seconds remain. 
St. Clair, no pressure towards the USF zone, but here we go up the left side. It's going to be a three on one towards this. Spoots trying to battle no it towards the middle of the point, but no. No boost left over the head. Here's Phil Clutch looking to ice this one away. Shot on goal, and that one goes in. And USF will be moving on to the losers' finals. Absolutely. We saw exactly what happened there, where all three of the Saints ended up pushing up forward for that offensive opportunity. And sure, Spoods was back there, but he had nothing in the tank to try and answer what Phil and the rest of USF had pulled through. So unless there's some sort of miracle, this one is done. And sure enough, it is absolutely over. USF, fantastic series, well fought, and good tournament run here for the Saints as well. Don't get me wrong, but our journey ends at fourth. They end at fourth and uh, so, so close. And you got to think, if they win that game, they had a real good chance of moving on and, and beating Syracuse as well, who's honestly been sitting around for about an hour or so. So mm. uh, would have been cold. And USF now with that potential. Uh, fantastic run um, out of St. Clair throughout the lower bracket again. Didn't put themselves in, I in an ideal situation, but they made the most of it. Absolutely. And to be fair, like all of these, like you're saying, well fought matches. It's not like they just roll o rolled over and died. Like um, from till the very end, they were fighting their way through, but just could not quite get the job done this time, which is definitely depressing. I would have loved to have seen them make the, uh, the CCA summer series. So we had some more action to see of them throughout the summer. But it looks like unless another league comes around, which I mean, isn't the isn't the worst chance. You never know. There could be yeah. uh, one-off tournaments or other things that could happen. But we might not see the squad until September now. So a little sad there, but nonetheless, well fought, everybody. Yeah, very well fought. And got to tip the hat to Nitrix for coming in and playing Absolutely. as well as he did. He had a fantastic Saturday. So um, going into next season with Nitrix potentially uh, on the team again, uh, you got to be real comfortable to have a guy like that as your substitute. Oh, 100%. Whether, well, just on the roster in general, like yeah. doesn't matter what... Uh, whether you're starting that day or you're starting some other day, just always a pleasure to have all of our Saints here. And Nitrix, again, doesn't necessarily get as much field time as the rest of them during the regular season, at least in the past. But definitely, at least personally, I'm thinking making a good case for himself as to why maybe it should be utilized a little bit more. Yeah, that, that's a uh, very good point. And yeah, definitely impressed all day today. And uh, just before we wrap things up, I want to give a quick shout out to uh, Daniil, who's uh, been nominated for the NACE Broadcast Talent Absolutely, of the Year. Absolutely, yes. Um, a huge honor. Uh, so happy for him to w with how hard he works at everything he does, whether it's coaching FGC or in the back room or on this desk right here. Um, congrats, congratulations to him. Uh, I think he's a prime candidate to win it. I'm hoping mm -hmm. that is the case, but uh, again, congrats to him. Well deserved. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see what the NACE membership thinks of that. But I know personally, I'm in the same boat. Basically, it's always a pleasure when your work gets recognized and to be recognized by NACE. Like some people, like some schools, might not see it highly. At least personally, I think of it as, as something extremely, um, extremely valuable and absolutely incredible to get nominated in the first place. But definitely has. Um, Definitely has had quite the year to warrant a victory, so I'd love to see that. Absolutely. Um, well, it's going to be St. Clair dropping in the top four placement, uh, just coming short of a chance to play in the Summer Series, but a good effort nonetheless. Absolutely. As uh, St. Clair, they did everything they could. Obviously, uh, not having Vesh in the lineup hurts just a little bit, but again, Nitrix coming in, playing as well as he did. N nothing to be disappointed about if you're the St. Clair Saints. And well, that's going to do it for us here on the broadcast. And uh, congratulations to USF and uh, Syracuse, uh, one of which will move on to the Summer Series League play. So uh, mm -hmm. thank you all again so much for tuning in. Uh, it's been a fun ride so far today. And uh, again, uh, St. Clair will be back in September. <laughs>